Get ready, Overlanders. We're diving into the top three epic overland destinations that need to be on your bucket list. Whether you're craving the rugged beauty of Anza Borrego, the sun-soaked shores of Baja, California, or the legendary trails of the Mojave Road, these spots are overlanding paradise. Stick around to discover which destination offers the ultimate off-grid experience and might just become your next epic road trip. Hey everyone, I'm Brad from Trail Recon and one of my favorite places to go have adventures in my home state is just a couple hours away in the Anza Borrego Desert. Let me show you why. Anza Borrego State Park is located about 80 miles east of San Diego, California, and the park has over half a million acres just waiting to be explored. You can spend a few days just exploring a massive network of desert trails that Anza has. Find some incredible camping spots and check out some of the very unique geology along the way. A lot of folks don't get excited when I mention this is a great destination, but time and time again, I've witnessed friends and family Family come to visit out here for the very first time and seeing the smiles on their faces and their newfound appreciation for the beauty this desert has to offer. It's truly an underrated destination. This area is filled with lots of history from the Native Americans who first populated the region, early travelers who crossed this incredible landscape, and some pretty spectacular historical railroads that helped grow the West. Some of my favorite spots within the park are the mud caves, which are massive caves that have been eroded by water over time, and there are dozens to explore. Sandstone Canyon Trail is my favorite trail in Anza Borrego, and while it's not a long trail, it's one that I have traveled many, many times, and the towering walls on either side of you as you drive down this trail never gets old. There are plenty of easy trails to explore, and a few that will offer a little challenge if that's what you're looking for. There is even a Jeep Badge of Honor Trail, Pinion Mountain that will take you into the west side of the park, but it's not for the faint of heart. While Anza Borrego is massive, if you want to continue your adventure even further, there are hundreds of miles of public lands that surround the park, and to the north, you can venture up to Joshua Tree, the San Bernardino Mountains, the Mojave Desert, Death Valley, and even further up north into the eastern Sierra Nevada Mountains. So Anza Borrego can be a great starting destination if you plan to venture up into some of those areas. I'm blessed to have Anza Borrego just a short drive from my home, and it's a destination I plan on exploring again and again. And maybe I'll get the chance to meet you out there sometime. So the Anza Borrego Desert is such an amazing place. So the next time you're out here in Southern California, you've gotta go check it out. Big thanks to Will for letting me be a part of this collaboration. Safe travels, everybody. Baja, California, Mexico. This cherished peninsula is about 800 miles long on the west coast of North America. I uh, can't say enough about this place. The people are warm. The weather is great in the winter months. It is an overlander's playground and also a great place to dip your feet into international overlanding because once you do cross the border, you can feel very much out of your element, which is what it's all about. The old government road, aka the Mojave Road, was an ancient Native American trade route that was eventually adopted by the U.S. military as a means of moving goods across the desert. For this particular route, a stock 4x4 is recommended. The vast majority of the route is relatively mild-mannered, but you'll need to descend a pockmarked hill. Take it slow and you should be fine. The Mojave River at Afton Crossing used to be a good 30 inches deep, but since it was filled in with gravel about a year ago, it's become remarkably shallow. Famed desert explorer Dennis Casabir made the route famous with his Mojave Road guidebook. Today, thousands of overlanders drive the track each year, typically in an east to west fashion. There's a plethora of cool sites and places of historical and natural significance to visit along the way, like the Traveler's Monument, the Soda Lake Playa, Fort Paiute, and the New York Mountains. And don't be scared to venture off the main track as there's a ton of fantastic places to explore just a few short miles off the Mojave Road.